Today we'll be solving for z in the equation 5 over 3z squared plus 7z plus 2 plus 3 over 3z plus 1 equals z minus 2 over z plus 2 minus 1. The first thing we want to do is factor that trinomial in the denominator. Now 3 times 2 is 6 and the factors of 6 that will make 7 are 6 and 1. So here we're using the grouping method. This is just a quick demonstration. We will get 3z plus 1 times z plus 2. So now we know that our trinomial has factors in common with the other denominators, so this will make the multiplication a lot easier for us. We're going to multiply both sides by 3z plus 1 and z plus 2, since that will get all of our denominators to cancel. And of course we have to do it on both sides. So we're going to take that whole quantity and multiply it by each term. So on that first term, both factors will cancel, and we're just left with a 5. On the second term, the 3z plus 1 will cancel, so we still have 3 times z plus 2. On the right, we're going to multiply it by the first term, and the z plus 2 cancels, so we have these two binomials being multiplied still. And then that 1 doesn't have anything to cancel, so we just have 3z plus 1 times z plus 2. Now on the left, we're going to distribute that 3, so we get 3z plus 6. On the right, we have to FOIL out both of these binomials, so our first one gives us 3z squared minus 5z minus 2. And then we're subtracting this whole quantity here, 3z squared plus 7z plus 2. So to simplify a little bit on the left, that 5 and 6 become an 11. Over here, the 3z squared and minus 3z squared will cancel out. And then we have negative 5z minus 7z and negative 2 minus 2. Now we want to get our z's on one side and our numbers on the other, so we're going to add 12z to both sides. We get 15z plus 11 equals negative 4. Now we want to subtract 11 from both sides. We get 15z equals negative 15. Dividing both sides by 15, we get z equals negative 1. Now we need to check if our solution is extraneous, which means we need to plug it back into our equation. So doing that, we have 5 over 3 times negative 1 squared plus 7 times negative 1 plus 2 plus 3 over 3 times negative 1 plus 1 equals negative 1 minus 2 over negative 1 plus 2 minus 1. So we need to evaluate this. In the denominator we get 3 minus z plus 2, then plus 3 over negative 3 plus 1 equals negative 3 over positive 1 minus 1. In the denominator, the 3 minus 7 plus 2 gives us a negative 2. And in the denominator of 3, we also get a negative 2. Then on the right, we have negative 3 minus 1. So on the left, we get 8 over negative 2 equals negative 4, which gives us negative 4 equals negative 4, and this is true. So z minus 1 is our solution.